Hello everyone, Kevin T. Rodriguez here, and I am making another Simpsons video, the first one in months. Now I know that for those of you Simpsons fans who start following me, because I started making Simpsons videos, this is a long time coming, because when I made my first two, which are still very popular, thank you for continuing to watch them and share them, by the way, I promised a third video. Now I did make a third video about stuff in... Big lots, but I didn't make the third video that I promised. I'm sorry, life kind of got in the way of me. But, you know, I was thinking, because, you know, the campaign goes on, we're still trying to get the rest of The Simpsons on DVD and Blu-ray, and we always have to keep thinking, like, what are new ways we can do to try to convince Fox? I'm, I don't want to sound bleak. It sounds pretty obvious that Fox has made up their mind. They want to keep The Simpsons behind their little paywall thing. However, that doesn't mean we still can't make our voices known, and of course, money talks. So I was thinking about this, and now I'm thinking out loud, just to kind of let the idea float out there, but the key to future Simpsons DVDs might be in this. Yep, Family Guy. Um, why on earth would um, that uh, be important to the Simpsons on DVD campaign? Well, the description on the back of the DVD sits, Pack your bags for a shipload of Family Guy fun. Peter goes overboard writing a children's book. Chris travels to the past for a Titanic-sized history lesson. Stewie impregnates himself with Brian's DNA. Don't ask. The, the box said don't ask. I didn't say don't ask. And the Griffins meet the Simpsons in the doughnuttiest crossover event of the time. The Simpsons. Yep, The Simpsons guy, that crossover episode, uh, I don't know if people realize this, but technically it wasn't a Simpsons episode. It was a Family Guy episode. Therefore, when it's time for Family Guy Season 13 to come on DVD, it is on this DVD, which means we have officially gotten a new Simpsons episode on DVD. Now, here's why I think this might be important for Simpsons fans to buy. First of all, ignoring the campaign altogether, this is the only new Simpsons content on DVD we're going to get for the foreseeable future, unfortunately. So, whether you're a big fan of Family Guy or not, and uh, trust me, as the show drags on, like, The Simpsons is kind of getting harder and harder to defend it. Um, but, this is the for only new Simpsons content we're going to get on DVD for a while. And no, this show's not on Blu-ray, so, you know, Simpsons isn't the only show that's getting the shaft in that area. So, that's one reason. But the second and probably most important reason is because money talks. It always has. Now, I'm not saying don't stop buying the current seasons you don't have. Continue to buy them. And buy them physically, not digitally. Buy them physically, not digitally. That's the whole... If you buy them digitally, that almost feeds into the idea that people don't want DVDs or Blu-rays. But... Wouldn't it be something if this season got a huge spike in sales and sold better than the last couple seasons simply because there was one Simpsons episode on it? Just one, and Simpsons fans were willing to buy it. Well, then you could make the strong argument that Simpsons fans would buy up, would show more for dedicated seasons of The Simpsons. It's really that simple. And of course, if you keep your receipts... In part of the letter writing campaign, I encourage this with most campaigns, keep the receipts and uh, first make sure the DVD is not defective. Make sure you can actually watch it. Defective DVDs do get out there. But once you've watched it, once you've figured out it's real, the next time there's a letter writing campaign, and I know Keep the Simpsons Doing is very good about having dates, have your letters ready, keep the receipts, include the receipts with the letter, and tell Fox, um, and you know, if this is not true, just tell them anyway, because what the heck. Tell them that you are not a fan of Family Guy, and tell them that you did, however, buy the entire season on DVD just for that one Simpsons episode, and that you would gladly buy more Simpsons on DVD and Blu-ray. And make it known, and if Fox can see um, a spike in sales for Family Guy, and we're sending letters letting them know that it's because there's a Simpsons episode on it, and that's how much we want more episodes of The Simpsons. Who knows? Sky's the limit. Now, 
again, it's looking pretty bleak because as TV shows on DVD have shown, the Simpsons DVDs were never selling terribly. Even the later seasons, as much as they were not selling in the high numbers the first seasons did, most TV show producers said they would kill to have those numbers. So maybe it won't make a difference, but here's the thing. A campaign is a campaign for a reason, and as I say, the only causes worth fighting for are the lost causes. So, this is just an idea I'm throwing out there. Maybe you'll disagree, who knows. Um, but, I recommend buying this. I mean, again, it's the only new Simpsons content we've got on DVD for a long time, so you might as well on that level alone. But then you can use it as a legitimate claim that you bought something, a DVD of a show that you normally would not have bought just because The Simpsons was on it. And that sends a very strong message to Fox. I, I really do think it is. And again, I want to stress one more time, I know some of you are going to say, there's only one episode on there, why don't I just buy it on Amazon or iTunes? Because if you want the rest of the show on DVD, you have to buy the stuff that's on DVD. If you buy it digitally, that totally defeats the purpose. So, anyway, that's my idea. What do you guys think? Comment below, and like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.